Hello everybody, Costello Great Mistleton here. Today I'm going to be cooking some ox cheeks. I'm going to put them in tacos, dress them up real nice, and hopefully they're going to be really tasty. Okay, so I'm going to put a nice binder of yellow mustard on here. Or I'll just put some on both sides actually. I'm going to give it a good even covering with some rub. Ready to go on. It's quite heavy on this side because this is the meaty side. This is the not so meaty side. And across the top as well. So we'll choose choose up what we got. Stick it all on there. Yeah, nice bit of flavour going on these. No, and I'm just going to put these to one side. Let the flavour soak into them. And stick them on the smoker in a minute. Right, okay, so here's the beef cheeks. They're all set up. I've got them on a board down here. And what I'm going to do is put some French's mustard sauce on. I'm going to use this Plough Boys rub, um, the bovine, bovine one, which is here. There we go, got the lid off eventually. Yeah, Plough Boys bovine rub. I'm going to go in quite heavy with this because I want to get a lot of flavour on this beef. Because they're going to be going into a, um, a pot for braising later on, just to break them down that little bit more. I'm going to be aiming for a temperature of 170 initially and then I'm going to put them in a braising pot and see what happens, probably take them up to around 200 uh, and then just probe them till they're, temp till they're tender. I'm sure they're going to be delicious. Should be some nice eating today around here with, with any luck. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is make up some braising liquid for the um, cheeks to sit in. I'm going to use a large onion or half a large onion, get the stalk off. I'm just going to sort of roughly chuck that up, put that in the pot. I'm going to use um, 250 millilitres of dark ale, put that in there, move this across now so you can see what's going on, use a um, tablespoonful of the imperins, tablespoonful of soy sauce, dark soy sauce, a little bit of chili and garlic sauce, I've got two in there, and some tomato ketchup. You can just have one in and a stir and I'll see how it feels. This is all going to reduce down in the pan. And a top tip, if you've got a barrel smoker, put it on the lid. So 
So all can um, warm down. Actually, I might put a bit of a rub in there as well, just so it carries through. Put a bit of that in there as well. Ain't gonna hurt, is it? Give it a bit of a mix. Hmm. It tastes nice now. It's gonna taste lovely later. I'll put the lid on and it can go on top of the smoker. Right, so I've got the meat in the drum, the probes are on there. We're going to see them in a few hours. Okay, welcome back. I've just had the buzzer for the um, ox cheeks. One's at 174. Well, in fact, they're both at 174 now. So what I'm going to do is plop them in the um, broth. I put that in the pit earlier in my um, cast iron pan. So I thought, It'll all be up to temperature, so nothing will slow down. Oh, I wish I, I wish you guys could smell that. It's absolutely amazing. It smells really, really nice. So I'm just going to um, chuck those ox cheeks into the into the pot. Just all simmering away nicely. That's our ink bird letting us know what's going on. There we go, what's going on? So I'm going to pull these probes out of these, get my tongs. I'm just going to pop these in that broth. let them braise down. There we go. Let the beard do its thing now. So just cover them up. Not even going to bother checking what temperature they are anymore. I'm just going to give it a couple of hours and see how they get on. Come back and check with my thermo pen. bad at all. Let's give them a little bit more. Just glaze them over. I might even go all out and put another layer of um another layer of rub on just to finish it off. deep mahogany colour going on. Okay, so I thought I'd better check these beef cheeks out, see what's going on. I'm just going to probe them, uh, see what's happening. Oh, there's a still, a still a long way to go yet. Yeah, for sure, some of it's soft. Some of it not. Hi, so I've got the ox cheeks in the pot, they're keeping warm in the beer, all sitting nice and lovely. They smell absolutely delicious. The ribs are keeping warm, so all I need to do now is go in there and assemble the dish with a couple of um, pita breads and whatnot, a little bit of salad. That's my dinner sorted. See you later. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is pour these now. Um, before. Oh yeah, this comes to pieces. Beautifully. I'm just going to make my tacos up. I'm sure they're going to be very, very delicious. Look at that. Simply, simply beautiful. Just fall into pieces. Can't really argue with that. Someone's going to be eating well tonight. I don't think it's going to be me. Right, so dinner's all done. There it is. Looks quite nice. Got my ribs. 
got my flatbread with a bit of cheese in, homemade slaw that I've knocked up. Put some red cabbage in, a bit of salad. I'll tell you what, I'll say one thing about ox cheek. When you buy it, buy lots of it because it's really good. I braised it in the, um, well, once I, once I smoked it for a couple of hours, I took it up to about 117 and I put it into the pot, braised it for a couple of hours with some beer and odds and sods. I should, well, I told you what I've done. I put the recipe below for the braising thing. Then I reduced it on the stove um, while the beef was resting, so I kind of intensified the flavor. So I've got a really nice sort of deep curry, well, deep chili flavored um, sauce to go on it. It's really, really nice. Um, it's good. I'll write the comments, about, well, I'll write down what I've done in the, um, the thing below. And I'll see you again. It's Ryan for Costa Rica, Great Missingham. Bye. Mm. So good. today, my missus has gone away, that would be the drum.